Hi everyone, I'm Krista from the DPW Environmental Division, and today I'm going to be talking all about beavers. Grappenbeer and Holmfels training areas have great beaver habitat because they have lots of flowing waterways and ample numbers of trees next to the water, which is ideal for where beavers like to live. On our installations, there are hundreds of pairs of beavers estimated to live in and around the waterways on the installation. The beavers found here in Europe are the Eurasian beaver, which is this one here, which is a different species or animal altogether from the North American beaver, the one that we often think about when we think of beavers. Though they look almost the same, the Eurasian beaver is slightly larger and their genetics are quite different from each other. For centuries, beavers were hunted and harvested for their fur and their meat. The last beaver was shot in Bavaria in the 1860s, and it wasn't until the 1960s that beavers were reintroduced to the area because of their importance as a keystone species, which are animals that define an entire ecosystem, and without that animal, the ecosystem wouldn't exist. There are different kinds of keystone species, but the beaver is an example that's classic of an ecosystem engineer. Beavers help maintain woodland ecosystems by thinning out older trees and allowing young saplings to grow. Converting these trees into timber for dams radically alters woodland meadows and streams, changing them into wetland habitats. New habitats like this create places where other animals can also live and thrive, including birds, otters, and other animals. As you can see here, they are big in size and can weigh on average around 40 pounds. They're the largest rodent to live in Eurasia, and being a rodent means they're also mammals. Some of the other features we notice about beavers immediately is that they can have very long orange teeth. An animal's teeth can say a lot about what they eat. A beaver's teeth will grow continuously so that they will not be worn down by chewing on wood throughout their entire life. This means that if a beaver stops chewing, its teeth would grow out of control. The hard enamel on the outside creates something like a chisel when paired with the softer dentin behind it. The higher amounts of iron in a beaver's teeth give it that distinct orange color, as you can see here. Because when iron mixes with oxygen, it turns orange, just like we see with rust. What do beavers like to eat with these sharp teeth? That's right, they do eat a part of the trees they cut down. They love the soft interior part of the tree, as well as the leaves and twigs. Beavers will also eat shrubs and grasses from time to time, and their favorite trees to chew are aspens, willows, birch, and cottonwood. And these are all trees typically found near waterways and often have quite soft wood compared to something like oak. This broad long tail that we see here is another feature we notice right away when looking at the beaver. It is covered in scaly black skin and is similar to a paddle blade in shape. This shape helps them to navigate and propel while swimming. They'll also use strong muscles in this tail to slap mud and sticks together to form their dams or their lodges, and they'll slap the water with their tail to warn off predators or other unwelcome beavers. One of the main reasons that beavers were so highly sought after and hunted was their fur. Notice how the top of the pelt has a thicker, coarser fur, and underneath that fur is a dense, soft underfur. Coupled together, they provide great protection from cold and can even be waterproofed. Beavers produce a special waterproofing oil from glands that can be spread over its fur as it grooms it and cleans itself. Beavers are quite the architects. They are known for their natural trait of building dams on rivers and streams and building their homes, also known as lodges, in the resulting pond. They use their powerful front teeth to cut trees and other plants down that they'll use to build that lodge. In the absence of existing ponds, beavers construct dams before building their lodges. While beavers do not hibernate, they do stock up on sticks and logs in their pond near their lodge to make sure that there is enough unfrozen food to last through the winter. In their lodge, beavers will stay with their mate, for which they stay together for life, along with beaver babies, otherwise known as kits. Beavers will have around three kits or babies each year, and the young beavers will stay together with their parents for up to two years after they're born. There are two prominent ways to tell if the wetland area you're in is also inhabited by beavers. First, do you see a dam or lodge? Large piled sticks and logs in the middle of a waterway can be a great indication. What about chewed trees along the water's edge, just like this one? The chew marks caused by beavers is really unique as no other animal found in our area can make 
shoes or trees fall with this same sign. Also, animals that live in the water part of the time and land the other part of the time will slide in and out of the water as an access point on land. These are called beaver slides if produced by beavers. The biggest threats that beavers face are collisions with road traffic as they try to cross the roads to access food or other waterways, habitat loss, and pollution of streams and rivers. The best thing that we can do for beavers is to tell someone else all the cool facts you've learned about beavers, especially how beneficial they are for the environments in which they're found. And remember to drive the speed limit on roads, particularly areas leading up to streams and waterways as animals tend to congregate around these locations and may be found crossing the road at those points more than others. For those interested in doing some additional beaver related activities, check out the links we'll post in the comments of this video. One easy demonstration you can do with your kids is to take petroleum jelly or Vaseline and rub a layer of it onto one hand. Stick both hands, the unoiled one and the oiled one, in a bowl of cold water. Which hand feels warmer? Why? The petroleum jelly acts as an insulator from the cold water, just as the fur and special oils produced by the beaver protect it from the cold and water. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.